good morning one and all i am going to present a topic is auditing first we see the introduction of auditing the term audit is derived from the latin word is audio and here auditing is a old of account auditing involved a grew rapidly the industrial revolution in the 18th century with the growth of joint stock companies the ownership and management became separate the shareholders who were the owners needed a report from an independent expert on the accounts of the company managed by the board of directors who were the employees next definition audit is an examination of accounts and records which is carried out by vouching the evidences supporting various transactions by such an examination is ascertained that the balance sheet gives a true and fair view of the statement of affairs of business and profit and loss accounts it gives a true and fair view of profit and loss of business next characteristics of auditing first one is systematic and scientific procedure essential documents are integral part it is done with the help of vouchers documents information and explanation received from the authorities undertaken by independent person or body it's a analytical approach it is a arts and science it has been both verification of results the auditor has to satisfy himself with the authenticity the auditor has to check inspect compare review of the voucher supporting the transactions and examine correspondence next we are going to discuss scope of auditing scope of audit is to increase the complexity of the business today the most economic activities are largely conducted through fina public finance the auditor has to see whether these larger funds are properly used it comprises the verification of accounts intention of giving opinion on its reliability next objectives of auditing first one is primary objective of auditing secondary objective of auditing detection and prevention of errors detection and prevention of frauds and system improvement next is principles of auditing first one is integrity and objectivity of independence next confidentiality skill competence responsibility of work performed by others documentation planning audit evidence accounting system and internal control next we are going to discuss about the functions of auditing first one is auditing control so auditing is an instrument of accounting control the true and fairness of the accounts second one is safeguard the audit acts as a safeguard on behalf of the proprietor against cost control carelessness and fraud on the part of proprietor's agents next assurance audit assures the proprietors behalf of accounts maintain truly represent facts and expenditure next assessment audit assess the accuracy of accounting system in order to ascertain its effectiveness in maintaining accounts records of an organization review audit carries out of review the financial statement to know whether the accounting records in agreement of those statements Thank you.